okay so what do we have here okay this is logic uh, consider the following logical inferences and uh, we have i1 if it rains okay then the cricket match will not be played okay so what it is saying is that it rains is the key here and the cricket match will not be played is the second thing out here then it is saying the cricket match was played and the inference is there was no rain then it gives the second uh, inference i2 which is if it rains then the cricket match will not be played this is the same thing as as before and then it, it this time it is it did not rain and the inference is the cricket match was not played which of the following is true and these are four options so we have to tell that basically we have to find that which of these i1 and i2 is the correct inference okay both of them or only one of them or or none okay so what we will do out here is uh, i'll give these some identities okay so if it rains so let's call this thing it rains p okay it rains is p and the cricket match will not be played let's call this thing q the cricket match will not be played becomes q so let's first discuss i1 so when we discuss i1 so if p then q so what is uh, this is basically the implication p implies q where p is it rains and q is the cricket match will not be played and and what do we know we know that the cricket match was played that means what we know is so this is the first truth that we know and what is the second thing the second thing is not q okay so this is what we know and then what is what is the inference is there was no rain okay can we can we infer from what is given to us that there was no rain so what is supposed to be inferred that can we infer not p from what is given to us okay so again so if you remember this identity if p implies q this is equivalent to what is called the contrapositive if p uh, p implies q is same as not q implies not p okay p implies q is same as not q implies not p and we know that this is true we know that not q is true so not q implies not p and that's why we can say that not q implies this so yeah we can infer not p from what is given to us all right so yeah uh, this first thing the first inference is definitely correct so this one is correct what about the second inference so now we'll discuss the second inference that is i2 so the first part of the i2 is same p implies q all right and what is the second part the second part is it did not rain so this time what is given to us is not p okay what is given to us is not p and then what is to be inferred can we infer that the cricket match was not played which is can we infer not q from what is given to us can we infer not q from what is given to us so so if p implies q can we say that not p implies not q no you cannot because what all you can say is that not q implies not p okay from not q you can imply that not p but from not p you cannot imply not q okay so this i2 is not correct so only i1 is correct but i2 is not correct which means this b is the correct choice